بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا هم بعد. We are continuing our series about the characteristics of the mu'min of the believer. And today we will talk about one of the most important sifat or akhlaq of the believer. And that is the characteristic of truthfulness, of sidq. You cannot be a believer and also be a habitual liar. The believer speaks the truth. In Surah Al-Ahzab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a long list of adjectives that describe the people of Jannah. It is the longest such list in the entire Quran. And it begins, إِنَّ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَالْمُسْلِمَاتِ وَالْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ وَالْقَانِتِينَ وَالْقَانِتَاتِ وَالصَّادِقِينَ وَالصَّادِقَاتِ The believing men and women, the righteous men and women, the worshipping men and women, the truthful men and women, صَادِقِينَ and صَادِقَاتِ These are the people that shall be forgiven and enter Jannah. And Allah describes the Day of Judgment and He says, on the day of judgment, the people who are sincere and truthful, their truth shall benefit them. And Allah Azza wa Jal encourages the people to speak the truth when He says, Allah is going to reward the Sadiqeen, those who are sincere and speak the truth, because they spoke the truth. In fact, not only are we commanded to speak the truth, we are also commanded to have friends that speak the truth. Allah does not want us to accompany liars. Allah does not want us to have friends with those who are lying all the time. Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu taqullaha wa kunu ma'as sadiqeen. O you who believe, fear Allah and be with those who speak the truth. We are commanded to even check our friends that our friends are not habitual liars. And our Prophet sallallahu alayhi he was salam said in that famous hadith that I command you to speak the truth alaykum bisidq because speaking the truth leads to piety and piety leads to jannah and I caution you against lying because lying leads to evil and evil leads to jahannam notice speaking the truth is directly straight line to Jannah. I advise you to speak the truth. When you speak the truth, you shall be pious. The key to piety is speaking the truth. When you speak the truth, you will be pious. And when you are pious, you will enter Jannah. And it is mentioned when Ja'far, the cousin of the Prophet ﷺ, was speaking with Najashi. Najashi said, what is the message of this Prophet? What does he call you to? And Ja'far radiallahu anhu, he summarized the message of Islam in five simple words or lines. Of them, he said, he tells us to work Worship Allah alone, to be good to our relatives and to speak the truth. This is of the earliest commandments, to speak the truth. So Muslims, we need to speak the truth. Speaking the truth means what we say has to conform with the facts. Now it is true that we must speak the truth at all times. However, in certain times, it becomes even more imperative to speak the truth. And when we lie, it is worse than lying at other times. Of them are three. Number one. When we speak about the religion, we have to be extra careful. We have to be extra careful that we do not make a mistake or do not lie. وَلَا تَقُولُوا بِمَا تَصِفُ أَلْسِنَتُكُمُ الْكَذِبَةِ هَذَا حَلَالٌ وَهَذَا حَرَامٌ Don't lie about Allah. This is halal and haram. لِتَفْتَرُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ So that you are inventing lies against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَتَقُولُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Do you speak about Allah what you don't know? And our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever lies about me intentionally shall find his place in the fire of hell. So the worst lie is the lie against Allah and His Messenger, the lie against the religion. Dear Muslims, if you don't know something about Islam, be quiet and say, I don't know, and do not guess or do not pretend that you know. The second occasion where lying is even more sinful and speaking the truth is much more important than, of, than other occasions. The second is when we give an oath, when we swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we're in the court of law, when we have a halaf, Wallahi, I swear by Allah, when you use the name of Allah and then you lie, this is much worse than any other lie. So when we are in the court or when we are giving the halaf, the oath, we have to be extra careful that we speak the truth or else that is of the greatest of the major sins. And the third also, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam especially cautioned the business people, those that are buying and selling, that be careful, you don't lie. Be careful, you don't say things about your products that is not true. Be honest and 
point out the good and the bad. Our Prophet wasallam said, when two people enact a business together and the both of them are truthful, then Allah will bless that transaction. Allah will bless you if you are truthful. Don't be worried about risk from Allah. Allah will bless you because you are truthful. So we speak the truth at all times, but sometimes it becomes even more important to speak the truth. Now, there are some minor exceptions. Sometimes we may say something that is not factually correct. These are very small list. And of them, obviously, in a loving relationship, when we say something to increase that love, Allah Azza wa Jal will not call us to task. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, there is no lying between the husband and wife. What does this mean? It means if you exaggerate something out of love, this is not deceit, this is love. The key here is that what you say will increase the love. So for example, if your wife cooks some dish and you say, this is the best food I have eaten in my whole life. Allah is not going to punish you. Inshallah, it's okay. If you say you are the best cook in the whole world, that can't be true because my wife is the best cook. So your wife cannot be the best cook. My wife knows she is the best cook. So clearly your wife is not the best cook. But if you say you are the best cook in the world, Allah is not going to call you to task. So common sense, if your five-year-old child comes, he's drawn a painting. What do you think of this painting, Baba? You don't have to be accurate. Go ahead. It's understood common sense. Some of us, we don't understand. Clearly, in a loving friend, framework when you say something to increase that love our prophet said this is not kadhib so we don't have to be that you know un unrealistic also by the way of the exceptions when two people are fighting they're no longer talking and you say something to soften their hearts you say something you go to one you say something yahi the other brother regrets you go to the second brother yahi the first brother mentioned you he regrets what happened this is also allowed because now you're bringing them together but these are exceptions the rule we speak the truth now what are some of the blessings of speaking the truth first and foremost as we said speaking the truth is the fundamental key that unlocks piety as our prophet said speak the truth you will be pious if you are pious you're going to jannah also we learned from the quran that when we speak the truth allah azza wa jal will reward us in the long run when we speak the truth we will gain the blessings of allah and we will also gain the respect of mankind in the famous incident of ka'b ibn malik too long to mention now, but please look it up in the seerah. Ka'b ibn Malik made a mistake. He thought he could lie and get it over with. Then he said, no, I'm not going to lie. Allah knows I have to speak the truth. He spoke the truth. He suffered some consequences. But because he spoke the truth, Allah Azza wa Jal revealed verses in the Quran that showed that Allah forgave him. Speaking the truth might be painful in the short term, but in the long term, it will gain Allah's blessings and it will gain the respect of the people. Also, brothers and sisters, realize as well that speaking the truth how can we monitor this how can we increase it realize Allah is a Samir and Allah is al Basir and Allah has put kiraman katibin ya'lamuna ma taf'alun kiraman katibin ya'lamuna ma taf'alun we have to remember we have angels ma yalfidu min qawlin illa ladayhi raqibun atid every word that he says has somebody writing it down so we be conscious of this it will allow us to speak the truth and lastly brothers and sisters as Allah says on the day of judgment those who spoke the truth Truth, Allah will reward them because of their truth. So if we want to be rewarded on the day of judgment, we want to enter Jannah, we want to be beloved to Allah and also to the believers of Allah, then speak the truth. Speak the truth even if it's bitter because in the short term it might be harmful, but in the long term speaking the truth will benefit us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who speak the truth. Inshallah we'll continue tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِّنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ